If somebody's legs can be valued at one billion US dollars, what is the value of a soul? What is your value? The value of a commodity is derived by the owner. So the real question I should be asking you tonight, who owns you? Last week on Monday, I visited the Air and Space Museum at Washington, D.C., and I took a picture with a space suit, the exact space suit that Neil Armstrong wore when he landed on the moon, 20th of July, 1969. This is a suit that perhaps in an ordinary shop, you wouldn't recognize it. But it has earned the US government millions of dollars. Why? Because commodities owned by famous people are often used as souvenir endorsements. They are treasured highly. One time ago, Jackson the late was doing a performance, then he removed his jacket and threw to the audience. You should have seen the speed at which the people are grabbing that jacket. Maybe if you went to a shop, you wouldn't even have picked that jacket. But now because it's worn by a famous person, the value goes up. So the real question is, who owns you? You know, in the creation story, we see God creating everything through the spoken word. When it came to your chance to be made, he fashioned you with his own hands. And then he breathed into that body and you became a living soul. I put it to you tonight, you are the breath of God. You are owned by the almighty God. You are priceless. There's nothing you wear that gives you value. There's nothing you drive that gives you significance. Your net worth is not your self-worth. Your value are not your valuables. If you attach your value to your valuables and your valuables get shaken, then your value gets shaken. You are greater than your circumstances. Someone can take away your car. Someone can auction your house on mortgage. But no one can take away your spirit. The spirit of a man is powerful. The spirit of a man is resilient. No one can bring you down without your permission. Les Brown says, do not let someone's opinion in your life become your reality. I add tonight, lose yourself from external validation. Walk as though you're wearing an invisible crown. Is it possible that there are many shadows in your life and as a result of you standing on the path of your own sunshine? Is it possible there is someone tonight who needs to get out of his own path for them to succeed. Believe in your own ideas. Believe in yourself because God believes in you. Step number two. 